Starting his visit to Guam over the weekend with a press conference everywhere the founder of the True Buddha School, Living Buddha, Sheng Yen Lu, visited, he was swarmed with followers. On Monday, he attended a special dedication and ribbon-cutting ceremony in Timuning for a stupa, or statue commemorating world peace. Tuesday, a special luncheon was held in his honor by the island's elected leaders, during which he was presented resolutions and awards from the governor, congresswoman, and the legislature. Wednesday evening, hundreds attended the Grand Master's 70th birthday party. According to uh, Grand Master Lu's impression of Guam, um, this is the second time that Grand Master Lu visited Guam. Um, he said that Guam has been changing constantly. He also mentioned that Guam is a very peaceful and comfortable area for the inhabitants in here. And this is a multicultural society with a mix of Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, and the native people, and sometimes Russians as well. He says that should be a, a building a multicultural society. Also, that Grand Master mentioned that um, the tourism could be improved in a better way, that uh, attracting more people to come, and also uh, perform, uh, building some playgrounds for m many children as well. And he hopes that the uh, people can harmoniously live together in this little island of Guam. So who exactly is Living Buddha Sheng Yen Lu? Well, he is the spiritual leader of more than 5 million followers across the globe. There are over 400 chapters of his true Buddha school around the world, one of which is located here in Guam, in Upper Tumon, referred to as the True Buddha School Complete Enlightenment Temple. Living Buddha Sheng Yen Lu has also written over 200 books in Chinese on several topics such as Tantric Buddhism, Zen Buddhism, and Taoism. Though he seems to accomplish a lot of things, but he doesn't take that accomplishment as his uh, the major uh, aim, major goal of his life. He says that um, he lives naturally. He lives every day by cultivation every day, um, writing article every day, and every day he lives, he's happy every day. Every day he's, he lives he has to cultivate every day or meditate every day. Every day he lives, he finds peacefulness in his life. That's the main thing in his life. Aside from meditating and teaching, what exactly does a living Buddha do for fun? Exercise, of course. To him, exercise is a very important part of the life. Uh, Grandmaster do, do push up 200 times a day. Sit-ups is about 50 times a day. And they do a lot of different exercises uh, uh, to continue to improve themselves. Do you like sports? Uh, so, what's, what's yeah. Sonics. Uh, my the Sonics, no more Sonics. No, my yeah. uh, my uh, they, they moved to Oklahoma. Oh, okay, they moved. They moved so, yeah. so, Oklahoma City Thunder? Oh, uh, Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. <laughs> but 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 Grandmaster loves uh, uh, the baseball Yankee, Yankee. New York Yankee. 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 Uh. Okay. Living Buddha Sheng Yen Lu leaves Guam Thursday. His final words during our interview: We got this one.